handgun ownership requirements. Unrestricted, no permit or license required. Rifle and shotgun ownership. Unrestricted, no license required. Semi-automatic assault weapon ownership. Unrestricted, no permit or license required. Machine gun ownership. No state restrictions, compliance with federal law only. Firearm uniformity. Firearm laws uniform throughout state. Concealed carry. Licenses granted on a shall issue basis. Vehicle carry and transportation. Unlicensed individuals and non-residents may not carry handguns on or about their persons while in a vehicle. Loaded rifles and shotguns may be carried in plain view or in a case. Gun violence in schools is unfortunately not a new thing. Uh, back in dinosaur days, I had students that I went to school with that used to carry zip guns or derringers with them to school because they felt that it offered them some degree of protection. Um, and today, people, why do they carry guns is your main question. Why do people carry guns? Because they think it's an equalizer. They think that it will give them protection where nothing else will. A lot of people use the defense that they're calling out for help or that they're you know, they're, they're looking for some sort of outlet for this oppressed anger and all this, this fear of whatever they have. The person who, who would do something like that is probably has, I guess, a bad life and this is their way of trying to, um, trying, to get, trying to get into revenge or trying to, trying to feel powerful. Someone who, who, who uses firearms like that, their other one is power because they feel like they, their power has been taken away from them and they're trying to get it back. People have different, in a sense, you know, like I can't really say it's the, what would what would make someone want to bring a gun to school? Because you know, everyone has different mindsets, and each person is treated differently by their peers. I couldn't could never really say as to why a person would come to that you know that point as to where he would have to he or she would have to bring a gun to school. The uh, young man I went to school with he carried a pistol all the time. We didn't check for weapons in those days because mostly they used brass knuckles or knives or chains or baseball bats, fun things. Um, but he had a pistol because his neighborhood was a very rough part of town and he, apparently there were people in his neighborhood that threatened his life on a regular basis. So he felt the only way he could have security was to carry an equalizer. The size of the pistol he carried, looking back on it, wouldn't have done much damage. Mm -hmm. There are always a lot of innocent people hurt, a lot of innocent people killed. Um, they have no training when it comes to using these weapons. They're out there using the weapon carelessly, and who knows who's going to get hit or shot and killed. I believe it was in 2008, 2009, um, there is a, an actual gun threat that happened. Of course, it was due to this one guy who Everybody nicknamed Satan's son, but his, his real name I cannot say. Um, apparently he was going to bring a gun here, and he had sort of this list, a blacklist, as you may say. And he was going to shoot down some people, and the whole school went into a total freak out, and everybody was exasperated. They were just kind of um, scared. Everybody was in fear. After a while, they started, we started getting lockdowns and we started staying in a classroom for four hours or until we get out of school. I didn't really learn much that whole month. Uh, it, was, it was just like a really bad time for the school. Um, all, all I can really remember from, from that time was that there wasn't a lot of learning getting done. You know, all this, all this violence around was Teachers and you know, principal had us locked in these rooms for at least at least four hours a day, because because of all the violence and it just it wasn't a good time. Well, they tried to protect the school by putting in a lockdown situation, uh, nobody in, nobody out, until they could ascertain whether or not there was a, a threat on the campus. Um, 
Many times teachers know as much as students. They don't tell us all the ins and outs of all the incidents that happen. Um, the lockdown on campus is to protect the campus, not letting anybody on campus at the time. Uh, if I can preclude them from coming on campus, then I don't have an incident like Columbine. But if a person really wants to get on campus. There's still a lot of violence around, a lot of rumors go around and people start, you know, getting their feelings hurt and they want to seek revenge on the person that was, you know, talking mess about them. So the, that violence never really goes away and so that fear will always be there. If the parents have a control over their children, uh, it is a big help to law enforcement, uh, whereas on the contrary, Parents who aren't responsible and don't know where their children are are probably out there are the ones that probably, you know, have access to guns and joining gangs. Uh, we can't be the parents for every individual out there who have no parental control. Um, but um, it, it is a it is a scary it is a scary idea that you know these individuals can access weapons very easily. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we do what we can and there's really not a solution. Schools need to pay attention to their students individually and they need to be aware that there are some students that are more prone to violence than others. They also need to be aware that not every student is the same and that their needs and their wants are different. And where some students think that they're just teasing, other students perceive that as bullying. Or some just think that we're just having fun. Other people per perceive that as harassment. Students and teachers and parents and families need to be aware and stay in contact with each other so that they can preclude having issues like that. Because if they don't preclude them, then it can be exacerbated, it can grow. Um, resolution counselors, if you will, people that are moderators, people that will talk to people and listen to problems, help the issue. You can't stop them. You can surely, you know, help in preventing them a lot better, not just by getting ready for when the person brings that gun to school, but before that, you know, going into that student's life, finding out what's wrong with him, you know, just seeing how he's acting a little more differently than the rest of us. Because a lot of these people usually are very antisocial people. And I don't think we're doing enough to reach out to those kind of people. You know? I mean, if you saw a kid sitting by himself looking at the next, looking at the prep next to him, looking at him like he wants to kill that person, people should go up to that person and talk to him and ask him how he's feeling. And even though they don't want to open up, that's their problem, you know? We're going to try and help you. Hey, you, you out there, come on over, subscribe.